Hello, Virtual World Educators. Fire Centaur here, coming to you live from the virtual world of Second Life. Today, we're going to show you some exciting new tools we've created, including the Sloodle 2.0 Rezzer, which you think you're really going to like. All of the Sloodle tools are nested nicely in this new Sloodle Rezzer. Just click on the gray cover and the Rezzer will power up. Here, you will see the different controllers that have been added on your Moodle website. I'm going to select Sloodle Demo Course Fires Controller. Here you can see that I've already created two demonstration scenes. You can add another scene if you want, but let's select demonstration. In this scene, I've already got four objects in it. I've got the web intercom that's connected to the chat room too. I've got a vending machine connected to the distributor vending machine, and I've got two quiz chairs. Let's add another quiz chair. So here, I'm going to select Add Objects. In this page, it'll ask me what kind of objects do I want to add. We can add a quiz chair, a quiz pylon, a scoreboard, a tracker, a button, or a scanner. I'm going to choose quiz chair, and that takes me to the quiz chair configuration page. And here are a bunch of different options you can select for your quiz chair. The main one you're going to want to look at is which quiz. Well, we've only got one quiz in our Moodle course, so I'm going to leave it on Sloodle Demo Quiz. But down on the bottom is a really cool new option. It asks you how many points per question do you want to get. And this is really cool because if you have a scoreboard in your class, then these points for every question will show up on the scoreboard. So let's give a student 10 points for every uh, question they get correctly. And actually, it's set to credits right now, but if you add different currencies on your website, you can add different types of points. We'll show you more on that later. Now that I'm all done my settings, I'm going to press the Add button. And there we go. We've added a third quiz chair to your scene. If you like, you can add some other objects as well. Let's add a registration and roll booth. And let's add some other objects. Um, how about the Moodle screen? This is a non-standard Moodle object, uh, Sloodle object. That's why we have it under Other. And communication. Let's see if there's any other communication device we want to add. How about we add a Sloodle choice? Okay, we've got a fair amount of objects in our course now. So let's do the fun part and res them. I'm going to press the res button. So all of our objects are now res, but as you can see, they're not really in good locations. So let's move them around a bit. over here and let's move what's this this is our registration and roll booth let's move that outside maybe before they walk in the class there we go we'll leave it right there okay down the hallway. And we put Edwin Ed Edgar to sleep. Okay, how about we move the uh, vending machine over to the back corner so students can concentrate. Actually, looks like we got a nice space over there for it. Okay, almost done here and the web intercom that's going to record all of our chat so let's move that actually let's put it in the ceiling not a good idea how about on the floor okay and let's just rotate it a little bit okay good and we have a few more things we got the quiz chair let's move the quiz chair 
maybe we'll move these these chairs backwards so we can have, add all the fun activities in the front. There we go, we'll put that right there. And there was another quiz chair. Let's bring that over here. Are they lined up? Okay, good. And, oh, we've got a third quiz chair, that's right. We'll move that over here too. And last but not least, let's move our Moodle choice. And we'll put that against the wall. There we go. Okay, now that we're all done moving our, our objects, let's save these positions so that we have them stored and we can load them later. For this, I'm going to press on the freeze button. And that will save all of those positions onto the database. So check this out. Let's say that um, I have my class and I'm all done teaching and I want to hide these, these um, objects. All I need to press is derez all. And it will derez all of the objects. And I can go home. When you come back, if you want to uh, res all the objects, all you have to do is find your scene, it's called a demo scene, and press res all. And that will res all of the objects again and move them to their correct positions. There we go! Isn't that great? So that's the Sloodle Rezzer for you. The new Sloodle Rezzer, just as a recap, can do a number of things for you. You can create scenes, you can add, add objects to your scenes, or you can even remove objects. Let's say we don't want the web interco- let's say we don't want, want one of these quiz chairs. Let's click on it, and let's delete it. It'll actually remove that quiz chair from your scene immediately. Or you can update your configurations as well. Let's go to the vending machine and let's select a different distributor. And I'm going to press update. Now that distributor has now been updated. The really cool thing about having different scenes here is if one day you have one activity you may want to use these objects but then the next day maybe you want to use a different quiz chair or maybe you don't want to use a choice. That would be very easy because all you need to do is add a different scene. Well that's all for today folks. We hope that you enjoy this new Rezzer and um, let us know what you think. We're releasing it at open source as part of Sloodle 2 and uh, in the coming weeks we'll also be releasing our Avatar Classroom which will have some more features for you. Bye for now. This is Fire Centaur and Ed Edmund Edgar signing out.